Hey everyone, Miss Otis here again today to help you with entering your assignments and your grades into a Cinder Teacher Portal. I've already logged in and I'm going to start on the left hand side of the screen by scrolling down to settings. Under settings, you can find the purple button that says manage assignments or if on the left hand side, you can also click manage assignments here. This is where you can change the different classes by the drop down of course selection and always click retrieve to change to different classes and add a new assignment with the blue button. You want to be specific with the name of the assignment. Here's where those categories we set up in the last video come into play. You choose classwork, homework, or assessment. You'll also want to enter the date it was assigned and the date that it was due. After you have done that, you'll put in your PIN to make sure you save your assignment. It'll let you know here if it was saved or if there was an error. Um, I teach two different groups of social studies, so here when I go to that class, I'll show you how to easily copy assignments to your second class. So here I'm going to label my assignment, also the type, like we said, the date, be specific, and then always put in your pin to save. After you've saved your new assignment, now you can copy it by clicking on this copy assignments to another course. I'll decide which assignment to copy. And then over here, where am I copying it to? Hmm. Semester 1 on top, semester 2 on bottom, cycle 1, cycle 2, that's our first 9 weeks or our second 9 weeks. You can see here how this one is grayed out. It won't let you copy there because that's where I created it. So that's always easy for me just to see where I created it. Okay, now put it right in the next social studies, same place. Always use your pen to save your assignment. Here you're saving it to copy to the other class. And then it'll tell you in green if it was successfully copied. Right now we have new assignments created. We want to enter the grades. Back on the left hand side I'm going to go to grades. My assignment grades. Drop down here. Where am I going? To that social studies. El alcalde. And here I can enter my grades. You can enter, push enter for the next student. This icon will let you enter any specific notes if it was late, accommodated, um, if you had to give the student something extra to complete it here, if they worked in pairs. Um, it is easier to click late and put minus 10 points for being late. Um, another nice feature is to say fill all. So sometimes I notice that everyone got 100 but except maybe two 90s. So I'll come say fill all, then just go click which two kids got 90s and change those grades. That's a nice easy option. Always put in your pin to save your grades. Um, last thing to show you would be cycle grades. So this is whenever we are submitting grades for progress reports or report cards. So you want to click retrieve for each class. Check your averages. Um, so here I need to reach out to some families about some low grades. And then you're going to put your pin in to save them. Click save. Um, we also can get, this is where we come to print this page. And when you print out a hard copy, then you can sign it um, to turn into our registrar, Mrs. Ramirez, um, when grades are due. Hope this video helps. Let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Bye.